Yo, what is good with y'all? Hope that all you guys are doing well. We're back and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how you can create this trippy background effect inside of After Effects. I like to call this one Freaky Splash. Pause. But I'll be going through it step by step for you guys. So let's just get straight into it. So we're in After Effects and I got this scene right here from this Lil Yachty all around the world music video. This video is actually crazy. So I'll start off by grabbing my clip and go to the roller brush tool, double click on my clip and start masking out my subject through it frame by frame to check that my masking is looking good and after that I'll press freeze right here to make sure that my masking is frozen and doesn't mess up later on while I work on this video now I'll go over here and look at my masking it looks like this that's good but you can tell right here that it's a little rough around the edges so to remove that I'll be adding on a refined soft mat and I'll drag down the additional ra edge radius and then turn up the feather I get something like this you can adjust these numbers depending on your clip but I'll keep mine like this yo sorry to interrupt I just wanted to let you guys know that I just dropped some new packs on my store both for Premiere Pro and After Effects if you guys are interested you can go check that out I'll have a link to the description I have some beginner friendly packs without any plugins so if you guys are beginners you can go check that out and I have some more advanced packs for you guys so if you're a fellow editor trying to make it full time in the video editing business you can go and check that out all of my presets are my personal ones that I've been using for years so with that being said let's just get back to the video so after adding on the refine soft matte it looks like this and then I'll be duplicating my layer and go to the bottom layer and remove the FX and now it looks like this just a normal clip so now i'll be adding on a warp puddle effect from sapphire and i'll be changing the amplitude to 0.15 and let's change the frequency to 2 to get a bigger puddle that looks something like this and then let's keyframe both of these and go to the end and let's turn this one down to zero or as small as it can be and this one to zero and now we have something like this that's kind of the splash look that we're going for and to make it a little bit more trippy I'm going to add on a distort chroma and I'm going to keep the amount at 1.2 and let's keyframe that one and change the blur lens to 200 and keyframe that one too oh fuck I'm not let's drag them back because I messed up and let's go to the end and turn this one down to zero and the blur lens to 400. So looking back at what I got right now, it looks like this. That's decent, that's decent. We can still make it look a bit better. So I'm going to add on a transform effect. And I'll drag it on and let's turn the scale up to 277. Now that's a bit too much somewhere around 225 it really depends on your clip but I'm going for a look like this and let's keyframe that and press U on my keyboard and go all the way to the end and turn it back to 100 and now let's select all of our keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them and head to the value graph and create the graph that looks like this And let's do that for all of our effects. And by creating a graph that looks like this, the effect will go faster in the beginning and go slower towards the end. And that will give a smooth look. And don't forget to turn on your motion blur. Right now it looks like this. And that's decent, but I think it can use some more energy. So I'll be going to the Distort Chroma tab and let's keyframe the rotation. And go to the end and turn it up to somewhere around 100. That way we'll get a little bit more energy to it. And let's select both of our keyframes and easy ease them again and make a graph like we did last time. And now I have something that looks like this. That's cool and that's the look that I was going for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you did you can go and check out my pack because this effect is actually from my trippy backgrounds pack. So if you guys are interested, you can go and check that out. I'll have a link in the description. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like. And I'll see you guys in the next one.